Hey everybody, today's video is called From Something to Nothing. What we're going to talk about today is once you get a golf swing into motion, if you are really truly making a golf motion, you will have a sensation of things being more weightless and more effortless. And the object today will be to give you an understanding of why that is and actually how to create that more often in your golf swing. All right, let's get started. So we're calling this video from something to nothing. So what is the something? Well, the something is anytime you start a golf motion, you start in a measured out extended position. You essentially measure out how far you wanna be from the ball and you're simulating actually to some degree what impact is like. Obviously your body's gonna be in a different shape when it delivers, but you're putting the golf club in an extended position. What that creates in the world of you know, rotating objects is that you now have a fairly high moment of inertia to overcome. So to get going, it's a lot more difficult than it is if everything is folded in. Most of our human motions that we make, we're, when we stand, everything is, is, is folded back into our body. The acceleration of gravity is just pulling everything down and we're just standing balanced. So whenever we make movements to start, it's effortless because we're able to extend to start. But a golf motion, again, starts from an extended position. So there's a something to it, and there's a bit of resistance that you have to overcome. But the goal is, is not to use, to take that resistance and turn it into like a lifting motion, which is where people get in trouble on a golf swing. They, they, they start with something and they stay with something. They can feel the weight of the club, they can feel the weight of their body. We want to get our golf swing going in our takeaways such that we move in a way that we actually get the golf club to become weightless quickly. And so we need to actually, even though we're extended, get it extending a little bit more. Once it extends, it has an energy to it. Once it has energy, then it's easy to fold your arms into your line of gravity, transition and re-extend the golf club. And that creates a weightlessness in the golf swing. And that is something that we wanna be able to learn how to, to create for the entire swing. And it's a challenge because if you start with a lift, you don't turn, you're always constantly trying to put the golf club in a position where you can hit the ball with your muscles. But if you get it going good and you really understand the full range of motion that you can create in your golf motion, well then things get more, more weightless and more effortless. So what we're gonna do first here is we're just gonna get an understanding of the feel of effortlessness in this very, very simple exercise. Here's a simple exercise you can do to understand how to take the something and the weight of the golf club and turn it into nothing. So if we just take our golf club, and you can hold this in your right or your left hand, I'm going to extend it out and I'm just going to hold it here. And so because it's rigid and I have muscles and strength, I can create an opposing force to just keep it suspended here. But of course, the longer I keep it suspended here, the more it tires out my arm. I can feel the center of mass of the golf club and I can feel the density at the end. So quote unquote, it's weight trying to go down like this, but I'm cranking it back up. So I'm using, I'm using a force through my, my skill of being able to use muscular contraction to hold it there. So it's heavy. It feels like something. I can really feel the weight of the golf club. But if I take this now and I just go from here and I start to spin, all of a sudden it's like, oh, I don't have to even hold that with any grip pressure at all. And now it becomes more and more weightless. So when you go from, when you go from still to movement, as I turn and I rotate, I start to feel, I start to lose the sensation of the weight of the golf club. That's actually what you want to feel on a golf swing. It's not about feeling the club head weight, it's actually about making the club head weight disappear. And this happens in your body very instinctively. So if I do a very much the same exercise with my arms, I'm not aware of the weight of my arms when I make most of my movements. But if I hold them out and suspend them, it's like, oh yeah, my arms are pretty heavy. I can feel my shoulders getting tired holding them up. But same thing, if I go into a spin, they suspend. So anytime we rotate, we create this ability, or reach as well, they're equal and opposite, we create this weightless sensation. We're so good at it, we forget it. We forget that, we forget that we're, we're good at doing it. And it's what we really need to sense in a golf swing. So if you feel the muscles in your body acting and you're trying to like stimulate different muscles or you feel the weight of the club dragging or you're trying to put a force on it, you're actually not creating the nothingness effortless feeling. You've, un you've inevitably hit a shot that's traveled farther than you expected with an easier swing. Well, what happened? Well, it wasn't that swinging slower made it go better. It's that you found some of that, so you tapped into some of your natural moving ability to make it feel weightless. Now, one of the things that's a little bit weird in learning weightlessness is our brains and our, actually I say our mind in particular, 
doesn't like weightlessness because we, if you sense falling and weightlessness, so being just accelerated with gravity with nothing else holding you up, we equate that with injury. We learn that very, very quickly. So it doesn't take, you can fall from 20 feet and that can be a catastrophic injury. Even just tripping and falling on the ground, you can really hurt yourself. So our body is actually fairly hardwired to resist a lot of times when it feels an imbalance. So this is kind of what happens when we swing our golf club and we create a lot of resistance. Our body like doesn't want to like let go. And then you kind of get your mind used to trying not to fall over. But we, most of the things we do like walking and again, just doing simple things like touching our nose or reaching, reaching, around, reaching up on to grab something off a shelf, everyday movements, we actually get a sense of weightlessness. And so we need to achieve that in a golf swing. So how do you achieve that in a golf swing? Well, that'll be the next segment of this video. So in the context of a golf swing, now how do we turn something into nothing? Well, if I could go back and take young Dan and learn golf over again, all over again, there's one thing I would have never ever done. I would have never stopped my motion in my swing. The intent of a golf swing is to move. Motions are naturally, and our body naturally learns motions, and we learn to make them more weightless as we get better at better at doing them. Anytime you start to think about a golf swing or how to move a body part and you start thinking about it and where to put it in the parts of the golf swing, you're actually, you're, you're, you're stopping movement. So just like when we were holding the golf club out here, suspended, I can feel the weight of the motion. But I know when I get in motion, I can make things weightless. So the first thing you need to do to like just have a more weightless swing is stop doing practice swings stopping and thinking about parts and how to move them and just keep them in motion. There's nothing wrong with being aware of how your body parts are moving, but don't stop moving because once you get it right, it becomes easier and more and more effortless, just like any motion that you already do very well. So in the context of a golf swing, what I would want to train, and people don't do this enough, we don't just pick up our golf club and keep swinging it till it feels better. The swing that you like the feel of is likely the one that's getting more and more weightless. We just get too lost into thinking about how to do it and, hope, and hoping it has a positive effect on the ball flight. Well, get the ball out, dedicate five minutes a day of getting rid of the golf ball entirely and just moving with the golf club. So we know we start with this something. So how do I get it weightless? So the first thing I gotta do is I gotta learn how to reach it. Reaching more, expanding, is the way we start weightless movement. So even though we're extended in our golf swing, we can extend a little bit more. That's why you see wide takeaways with really good players. They're not lifting the golf club, they're always getting it going this way. So when I reach it outwards, my body will naturally start to open up to counter it. It tries to make it weightless. If I lift it, I can feel the weight all the way through. Same thing, if I do this and then I stop it, I can feel the weight again. So I've lost that sense of weightlessness. So once I get it moving, it's always a reach and a rotation. Then you just let that golf club fold around your body. Never stop moving. Never stop moving in transition and just keep swinging it until it continues to feel lighter and lighter. It's often also very helpful to not look at the ground while you do this, but be more interested in kind of how the golf club is moving around your body. The lighter it gets, the freer the movement. And you'll start to sense that your body is self-balancing relative to that golf club, and the weight of the golf club becomes lighter and lighter, the weight of your body becomes lighter and lighter, and that's when you know you're swinging better. The other thing that I would highly recommend, as I usually do in my videos, as most of you guys know, swinging your pro is the way you can learn how to create a weightless golf swing. So your, a weightless golf swing is indicated very much so by the pro because it stays in a straight line. Anytime you're moving all the parts of your body proportional to their position relative to your line of gravity, relative to gravity, that sounds really complicated, but it's not. It's exactly this. When I rotate, that thing stays in a straight line. So when I, when I create that sense in the context of a golf swing, the pro stays in a straight line. So teaching yourself how to keep your pro in a straight line is teaching yourself, A, how to stay in motion, and also how to make the most weightless, efficient motion you can make. So I'm keeping this straight, not because I'm doing something magical with my hands and arms and manipulating. I'm keeping it straight because I'm staying in motion and the pro's telling me I'm in motion. And so I think that's the best way to actually learn how to do that. And that's a lot easier to take that context back to the golf club. But either way, you wanna learn how to turn something into nothing. And that's the lesson of the day.